To strengthen its military, South Korea is developing stealth drones. The business has also been chosen for this by South Korea's Agency for Defense Development. The South Korean Air Force has entrusted Korean Air with the task of creating a squadron of multi-role drones. A quasi-state airline in South Korea is called Korean Air. Stealth technology, which can be used with any combat aircraft, will be included in the new drone. This drone is being created specifically to halt North Korea's growing aggression. Recently South Korea successfully completed the first flight of their indigenous KF-21 Boromi fighter jet. The defense industries in South Korea were said to have made a quantum jump as a result. Following the deal's filing with the South Korean government, Korean Air released a statement outlining key details of their cutting-edge drone. A technology that would enable three to four drones to concurrently support and escort a fighter aircraft is being developed, according to Korean Air. Additionally, these drones will be able to conduct their own missions, such as reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and targeted strikes. The South Korean Air Force's military might will be greatly increased as a result. Additionally, fighter aircraft of the South Korean Air Force will be able to attack from inside enemy territory. This unmanned air system already has a basic design in place. Just last year, the work on this project got underway. The Korean Air and the Agency for Defense Development will now collaborate on the detailed design. For more than 10 years, Korean Air has been developing, producing, and testing drones. Korean Air has also spent a lot of time on stealth aircraft technology. In this case, South Korea has every confidence that Korean Air will live up to its promises. The Stealth UAV program from 2019 to 2021 was originally a collaboration between Korean Air and the Agency for Defense Development. The KF-21 Borom fighter jet, an indigenous fighter aircraft, may cooperate with South Korea's new Stealth UAV. In reality, the U.S. produces practically all of the fighter jets used by the South Korean Air Force. South Korea will need to invest a significant sum of money in order to equip these aircraft with the ability to use drones for missions. After successfully completing the first flight, his own fighter plane is also undergoing additional tests at the same time. It will be significantly simpler to alter the KF-21 Borom fighter aircraft's design and software in such a scenario. Due to its independence, South Korea will rely less on foreign nations.